Yeah, and what ends up happening is if a customer goes online, so online's way different than, than in the store, right? In-store experience is a whole different thing. Online is one of those deals where if we go out as a consumer looking for recalls and, and what has what's recalls and, and what maybe my vehicle has a recall, um, the dealership loses control of that customer because if that customer is closer to a different dealership than the one that maybe they bought the car from, that, that recall business will go to that other dealership. So because we go out and we build a recall infrastructure on their website with content, different things like that, uh, we've created an environment now where we've sort of closed the door and if anybody comes onto our dealership's website and gets the, um, the information about that recall, then that customer information will go to the dealership that we're working with. So all we've really tried to do there is just make sure that if we're going to put any effort into marketing for our recalls through our dealership network, that um, that we don't lose them to a competitor because obviously that's not doing the dealership any good. Yeah, I, you know, it's my 20th year working with stores. Spent a lot of those years on the sales side. Uh, we always had the why buy, right? Why buy from us? What's our USP, our unique selling proposition? Uh, we've now kind of brought that into our product with our why service. You know, let's let's not only talk about the service and why you should get that service done, but why you should do it at the dealership and why it's more important to get that service done at the dealership, maybe from another competing dealership or more importantly, the independents. Because one thing the independents have done a really good job with over the last 10, 20 years is getting that information out there to consumers. So the average consumer who doesn't really know might think that a Jiffy Lube is more um, economical and that it's quicker and it's more convenient. But let's be honest, these cars are becoming more tech and more uh, you know, electronic than ever. And so you gotta have the technology and the, the data or the, uh, the machinery to be able to fix those different vehicles and do all the diagnostics and things like that. So customers need to come to the dealership. We just gotta make the, them aware of what needs to happen, uh, the pricing, make sure it's transparent so they know what to expect and, uh, and really just give them a, um, a little more information when they're out there looking for it. It's funny you say that, I always say uh, customers on the sales side they're, they're in a lot of different parts of the buying process, right? They might be at the very beginning, they might be in the very end or somewhere in the middle. Um, nobody is going online going, hey, who's gonna fix my transmission six months from now when it goes out, right? We're a service business. So when they have a problem, they're gonna go online, they're gonna look for that, that person that can help them, and we have to be there as a dealership community. It's no different than a plumber, an electrician. You have a problem, you want it fixed. Um, Imagine going there and looking for uh, brake service for my Honda Accord and not one dealership shows up on Google. It's a problem, so we're fixing that.